Hey, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Girl Upcycled Studio. Hello, hello. Um, today's video is going to be how to create your own DIY ceramic owl. I have little kits that I sell now. And so I thought I would um, just do a video and it would be just exclusively on how the kit will come, um, whether you order it through the mail or whether you pick one up here in the studio. And then I'm just going to kind of go through the stages of how you would create your own. So um, say hello when you come rolling in. This is a live video right now. So um, say hello when you come rolling in. Um, I am running this a little bit differently so that you can see um, my face as well as the project that I'm going to be working on. So let me know if that looks okay. Um, what will happen is when you order the DIY kits, it will have a link. When you check out, there will be a link and it will go to a video that will show you like a little example or a sample of how to do your own DIY kit. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, and I did this real quick with Karen one day, but I'm going to redo it real quick um, and just go over all the steps and show you what comes in your kit. So when you order your kit, it is called the DIY Owl Kit. Let me see if I can drop the banner for you. How's everybody today? Are you able to hear me okay? I guess we need to do that first, make sure everybody can hear me. So this is the link that you will be able to um, find the kit. And that is on my website at girlupcycledstudio.com. This is the link that you can used to find the owl kit. Hopefully that's helpful. Can somebody say hello just so that I know that it's working okay? Because I, I, if I have to um, restart the video, I don't want to continue if I need to restart. So I'm going to, I'm assuming that it's okay. Are we okay? I still don't see any comments yet, guys, which is really here. They're all coming in all at once. Okay. Hi, Sherry. Hello, Ann and Judy. Okay, Judy, thank you so much, guys, for that little tidbit. I wasn't real sure. Okay, so when you order the DIY kits, this is how it will come, okay? It will come with this cute little owl, and it's a little planter, so you can put succulents in this. Um, I think it would be cute for that, but you could also use it as a brush holder. You put your paint brushes in it, toothbrushes, but super cute. So it comes like this with, you know, have your, everything you need to get started except for your water. So have your little paper towel and I've got these cute little um, containers that I've purchased and they are filled with the DIY paint products. So this is also a great way to kind of get um, a chance to use the DIY products too if you, um, you know, are wanting just a small project and do a sample. So this is a great way to do that. So, um, and the way I've done this is I have them numbered. So I've got two cameras here, so it's kind of confusing me. So I've got everything numbered. So one, two, and three. And what you're going to do is you're just going to follow the numbers in sequence. So um, the first little pod of four, these are going to be your DIY paints that you use um, for your first um, series. And then the last four little um, pods that you're going to have paint, paint um, pods that you have is four, five, and six. And you're going to have the... Um, this is going to be the um, copper pennies from heaven. So it's a metallic, it's really, really pretty. And then you're going to have two little containers of number five, which is going to be clear wax. And then the last one, which is labeled number six, is your dark wax. So that's all you do is you just follow it right in line. So I'm gonna go ahead and I already did a coat of paint on this. I'll go ahead and do another little coat. And my brush 
your brush when you get it will be nice and new. It won't be all used up like mine is. Mine's very well loved. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just put another thin little coat. I've got water here. So the only thing you're going to have to do is get your own water. And you will just kind of quickly paint. Well, you don't have to do it quickly. <laughs> Hi, Marie. Becky from Arizona is here. Nice to see you. So you want to cover it really well. So I did include two little pods of paint with this first coat. And I've got the color I've got in this particular one is sea glass. And I kind of like to paint just right, right down into the, the little lip of it as well. This is, I'm getting confused as to which camera I need to look at. So <laughs> I'm trying. But when you purchase this, um, you will be able to refer back to this video for a step-by-step -step paint party. You can have your own paint party of your very own right at home. These have been doing really, really well, you guys, because everybody's stuck at home right now. Hi, Ann. Thank you. Hi, Norma Jean. It is. And of course, you can use your own judgment and put your own spin on this. So I'm just kind of doing like a, a quick little sample for anybody at any level could do. So I'm just really turning and painting it and I'm not really, you know, any specific way. We're just painting it on there. Now the paint that I'm using, the DIY paint, is very highly pigmented so you can water it down. It's going to be very thick when you um, get it. So you're going to water it down a little bit if you want it to. Did we name him, Heather? That's a good question. We, we do need to name him, don't we? What could his name be? I don't know, but he's pretty cute. And you guys, I have more coming. Um, I have more kits that will be hitting the website. So I'm really excited about it. Um, so different sizes. Some, some that are bigger than this, but I think that this is really good. Thanks, Judith. I think this is really good for just like a little quick beginner. Um, say you have grandkids at home or teenagers, and this is just like a fairly inexpensive little DIY kit for them right now because, you know, we are stuck at home right now, and so this is a great little just a little fun project for everybody to do, even as a family, okay? So, so now what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this little tub up and I'm gonna wash my brush, okay? So for every DIY kit that I'm going to have on my site, I do plan to have a little video to go along with it. Um, I think that's gonna be the easiest way to show people the instructions, even though it's not very hard. I think people do well with um, little videos for instructions. Um, Rusty, I love that. Rusty the owl. I do. I, okay, that's it then. Thank you, Marsha. So we're done with number one. I'm going to have to plug my phone in real quick before I lose... Hold on one second. I've got everything right here prepared. Can't plug that in. So next, we're going to go. Um, we're going to go on to number two. And number two, I have a green, beautiful, bright green green color called Fancy Farm Girl. My brush is washed off over here. And you can kind of decide for yourself um, what you want to do. Um, I would actually, if you're doing this at home, and he cute, if you're doing this guy at home, I would just wait for this to dry 
okay, all the way in between. Me personally, I'm going to go ahead and paint my next layer, okay, because I, I don't want to make, make you guys wait too long. So, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just, let's see, what do I want? Do I want his little, I think I'll do his little wings, this green color. And I'm just kind of lightly brushing my brush over it. I'm not doing full coverage because I still want that um, some of the blue to show. So I'm just kind of lightly. You'll have paint left over with this too, gang, okay? Hi, Alyssa. So there's those little wings. You can still see some of the turquoise. I love blues and greens together, don't you? Hello, Delisa. I think I'm saying that wrong. I think it's Delisa, isn't it? I'm going to clean my brush off. And I have added a third color just for fun. So you can just kind of decide if you want to make, I don't know, maybe you want a design or polka dots or whatever you want with this this accent color. So this accent color is going to be a completely different tone than the others. So it's going to be either like a bright pink or a coral is what you'll get for your um, third color. So I'm going to open this up and let's see what I want to do here. I think I'm just going to, I think I'm going to just kind of paint like every every other little little one this color just for fun this is kissing booth okay so you can either choose to do that or maybe maybe you want a little bit of accent under his little nose here. So we could paint that the that color too. Okay. But it's up to you. You can do, of course, whatever you want. These are just suggestions and it's just to kind of make it easy to follow along. Those of you that are getting these. So these are on this website. And we decided his name's Rusty, <laughs> Rusty the Owl. So I love that. So, and we will be adding copper to him too. So he will look a little bit rusty, which is, which is all good. Let's see, it'll add a little bit more. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is completely dry it. Now you can tell I have barely, I've barely even used any paint out of that little tub. So you are going to have more than enough for this little project and then you'll have some left over that you can do some other little project at home um, and it will match your owl. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, I'm going to clean my brush off really good. dry. And I'm going to open my number four tub, which is going to be filled with my metallic, which in this case is pennies from heaven, which is a beautiful copper. Okay. And for this, I want to go ahead and, and you could even use your fingers if you want. I don't know if you'd want your kids doing that, but going to cover his little belly. And a lot of times I do use my fingers, so I may, I may switch over. So I'm just taking it and I'm 
pulling it down. I'm going from the top and I'm pulling it down over his belly and I'm staying right within the little lines of his belly. Okay. So you can cover it as much or as little as you like. I've got a little bit of the turquoise coming through, which I kind of like that myself. So you can kind of there we go. You can kind of um, eyeball it and do what you like with it. Um, I am going to get my paper towel. Something fun that you can do with this is wet distress. I'm going to just dip my little paper towel in the water. You don't want it very wet. I'm just going to get it slightly, slightly damp, okay? And where I have the green, I'm just, I'm going to pull a little bit of that green off. So it kind of distresses the wing. I do that on each side. Now this is something that maybe if you have little kids, they may not want to do this. This is um, more for, you know, the teens or the adults that want to do more of the artsy effect. Or I don't know, the little kids might. What do you think? <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. I'm going to do the same thing on the, on the little pink that I've put on here. I slightly dab it off. Now what you don't want to do is smear it. Hello, Robert. What you don't want to do is smear it. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure I turn my paper towel so that it's clean and just slightly wiping it off, okay? And it's it's a little bit wet right now, so it looks a little bit splotchy. So this needs to dry. Um, and then what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna use my fingers and I'm gonna dip into my metallic and I'm going to just kind of hit his nose and I want to hit all the high points. You, If you don't want to touch this with your fingers, you can simply dip in with your brush and use the side of your brush. Okay? And just kind of run that all along the high points. And I want to do his little eyes as well. Now, like I said, it's up to you. This is yours. This is your DIY project. So you are welcome to, if you want to detail all of this out, you totally could detail it out if you wanted to. Okay. But I really like using my fingers, so I'm going to go back to that. And then I also, I wanted to run it around the top. There we go. Inside and around. And this is pretty thick too, you guys. So if you, um, if you want to thin this down, you can too. So it's totally up to you. I think the copper really that makes it pop. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit over so many, some of the rest of it too. What do you think, guys? Pretty cute. Cute little guy. <laughs> kind of shiny. He's still a little bit wet. But um, have fun with it. I mean, if you want to add a little bit to his wings, then go ahead. Let's just go ahead. 
Let's add a little bit to his wings. The gold just really, or gold, the copper, I keep calling it gold, the copper just really gives it a little, a little extra touch. And then what we'll do is we're going to let this dry and then we will add um, our waxes. Thanks, Angela. So, so there he is without his wax. Give you a close up. And the pink, I don't know, you guys can kind of, like I said, play around with it. I just added that for a little extra color. Like I said, the kits come in. Now, the last one I did, the last kit that I did, I used um, coral. So um, I found that the coral was very, very similar to the copper color that I used. So that's why I thought I would try um, the pink this time just to see what how it turned out okay so let's see he's almost dry I should have plugged in my I have an extra plug let me grab my hair dryer I hate to do this during a video but since this is going to be an instructional video for a product I think I need to make sure this is done correctly and so you do when you're doing this at home you're just going to um, go get a refreshment and give it a few minutes and just let it dry all the way so i'm going to put this down under the table and dry it hopefully that's not too loud and then we will um, do the waxing together but this is a great way to try the DIY in a little mini kit. And I'm really excited. So if you are one, they've been selling really well. So if you are one that has bought one already, I would love to see your pictures. So um, send one in a message or you can email it so I can see what you did to it. Um, I think that would be fun to kind of share all of our projects together like that and then what you do you might give ideas you know to the next person so that's kind of how we learn and how we grow and get all these great ideas right it dries super quick it's almost done honestly i think i can go ahead i think i can go ahead and do it Let's just do it. Okay, so we will be cleaning this brush really, really good. Because we have had metallic in there. Right? We want your brush completely cleaned and as dry as possible. Oh, good. They're muting the background noise. That's awesome. I, I'm thinking I'm liking the StreamYard deal. <laughs> All right. All right. So I've got the, my brush clean. And we're going to go into the next number. And I gave you two tubs of, that's upside down, two tubs that are number five. Number five is clear wax from the DIY company. So we're going to start with that. You may not even need both tubs, but I just would rather you have extra than not enough. And you're going to just wiggle your brush down in there and you're going to just apply it. Now, you notice how it's turning a little bit darker as I apply it. Completely um, natural for the clay, clay based paint to do that. So just know that that's going to happen. We're going to go ahead and just kind of scrub it in there. See how I'm just kind of 
scrubbing it in. More on my brush, working my way around. Scrub it in there. Now on the kits that I will be selling when they're bigger, like I have some bigger um, products that I'll be doing, you'll have um, like a larger chip brush that'll be included, but this one didn't really need it because it's not that big. So we're just gonna keep using the same little brush and it'll be just fine. That copper looks beautiful mixed in with the green and the turquoise. And I'll show you here in a second, a close up it looks really pretty. I would go ahead and seal the bottom too. Why not? Let's get his eyes really good. You guys are going to love it after the dark wax gets put on there. It'll really make a big difference. It's all about the wax, all those finishing. So honestly, it only took me one little paint pod to cover this. So you'll have an extra, you'll have a little bit extra clear wax. So that's okay. All right, and just check him over real good. So this is what he looks like with clear wax. He looks pretty cute even just that way, doesn't he? <laughs> so here's a close up of the wing with the green. I think it looks beautiful with the, with the copper and the green. All right, so we're gonna close that little paint, paint pot or paint pod, I think I'm calling it. And we're, then we're gonna go over to our number six, which is our dark wax. Thanks, Judith. So if I can get it open, boom. Tricky little guys. Um, I, when I mail these out, I do tape these all down too, just to make sure that they do not open, um, during shipping. Okay. So I notice I did not wash my brush. So you can go from the clear wax and dip straight into the dark wax without cleaning your brush. Not going to make a difference. So I'm going to dip right into my dark wax and I'm going to start working it in. You know, and maybe you like yours just with the clear. You don't have to use the dark wax. It's completely up to you. Like I said, you can do your own designs on this whole whole thing. So I'll be really be looking forward to seeing these come in after y'all start doing them. So great little project though for like if let's say you want to do a little girls girls night at your home, you can just order some of these and I'll send them to your house, have your friends in and voila. So I'm going to go right over top of this and it looks kind of grungy right now. I know you can do the bottom if you want. It's up to you. Okay. I'm going to close my little, little paint tubs up. And this will go back in here. All right. So at this point, guys, this is what it looks like. And your only thing that you need to do next 
is you need to kind of buff him up a little bit. So we're going to grab this little paper towel in your kit and then you'll just kind of lightly wipe him down. Now, if you want to wait a little bit so it, it dries a little bit better, you don't have to be quite as careful, but I would just wipe it very lightly without like a ton of pressure because um, your paint is fairly fresh, right? We have just now painted this. So if I, if I went in and I mushed it and like pushed it too hard, it may even pull some of the paint off because that paint has not cured yet. So if you notice, I'm just barely even, I'm barely even putting any pressure on this. But this just makes, gives him a lovely, beautiful aged look and it richens it right up and it's just super cute. I'm like super big on owls anyway. So this is Rusty the Owl. Heather named him for me. Heather Watson. Thank you, Heather. Oh, Robert, you've been out of you've been out of electric. I'm so sorry. I'm glad you've got it back. Thanks. So that's that, guys. So this is what your finished owl will look like. It just super cute. It gives it depth. Gives it some richness, a little pop of the pink in the background. You know, you can kind of do the pink or not. It's up to you. I'll, I'll do an accent. Your accent color is probably going to be either coral or a pink color, one of the two. Um, but, but that's what it looks like. And this is how I just think he looks really cute with a little air plant. And... Uh, And that is that. That's the end of it, guys. So if you have one of these, what are you using yours for? I would love to know. Are there any questions? Hopefully you've enjoyed this. And um, hopefully if you get a chance to do the DIY kit, um, I hope you enjoy it. So it's just a little extra fun. We're just going to keep it light this year. Keep it light and fun. And um keep busy and creative. I think that's the best thing. He is so boho adorbs, isn't he? He is. So, all right, you guys, that's it for tonight. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys all next, um, during the next DIY project. So, all right, see you guys then. Bye-bye.